if you've got a Heathkit HW101, your audio board may look like this. It may have one of these. That's a PEC, a printed electronic circuit. This is responsible for generating the side tone. Or you might have something that looks like that. This is the 101 that I built, uh, and I'm, I can't take the back panel off because it's got my side tone adjustment mod on there. But the later models of the HW101 no longer had the PEC. They had these phase shift circuit boards. You built it yourself, plugged it in, and it served the same function. This is what that board looks like. And here's the PEC. Basically, these PECs, they're kind of like uh, ancestors of the integrated circuit. I've never opened one of these up and looked inside them. I don't know what's in there. I'd love to know. But what these do is basically they enable the manufacturer to squeeze a large number of capacitors and resistors into a small space. These only have resistors and capacitors, unlike an IC, which has diodes, transistors, and whatnot only resistors and capacitors. And that's what's on the phase shift circuit board. So I wanted to build one and I did build one and I'm gonna show you how it went. You can get this pack of 13 pretty big breadboards on eBay for just under 10 bucks. I tell you, I'm not someone who builds stuff like this on a regular basis. So there may be other products out there that people are using. I don't know, this is how I did it. Uh, I took one of these boards, got my Dremel cutter, sketched out that footprint, and cut it. And that's what I ended up with. I spray painted one side black. Um, I just thought that was a little nicer than all these lines. Got me some of these uh, quarter watt 470K resistors. And a bunch of these 470 picofarad micas. I think I got these from Mauser or possibly eBay. Uh, you can still get these new old stock. And there's a, a 0.01 ceramic capacitor there. The business side of this is not very pretty, but basically I just did point to point wiring on it. The original phase shift circuit board had these three F connectors that attached it to the audio board. Well, I could not find those suckers anywhere. So what I ended up doing was just um, improvising, taking these um, thick leads from a two watt old school resistor, something about that thick, and uh, just shaping it to fit. And I kind of like these better because when you have these rigid F connectors, you better be damn sure the holes on your board match exactly right. And invariably, there's a little bit of difference. And so with these, you have a little bit of wiggle room, literally. If you're gonna install your own phase shift circuit board and you've got one of these older versions of the HW101, I shouldn't say older, I should say the typical version. It was only at the very end that they changed this. Um, this is resistor R325, and if you look at this newer rig, well, you can't really see it because it's, it's under the phase shift board, but I'll show you on the x-ray view. This is a x-ray view from a manual dated 1970, and there's R325. This is from a manual uh dated like 1979 and that's where the resistor should be but it's not the holes are still there but there's no resistor marked if you're going to modify an older hw101 you got to remove that resistor r325 this is the x-ray view from the manual and the funny thing about this x-ray view is these other x-ray views they show it from the bottom right this one shows it from the top. Isn't that strange? I thought this was gonna be easy. I would just take this and basically just sketch it on the bottom, but it's in reverse. So you have to kind of 
makes it a little challenging. Can you see how this is the reverse of that? So anyway, that's what I came up with. It's not the most elegant looking thing you'll ever see, but it works. Let me show you. That, by the way, is the resistor that needs to be removed to make this thing work. I just lifted one leg because I plan to take this out, put the PEC back in and stick that resistor back in place. But uh, that resistor needs to come out. That's R325. So there you go. If you're having, oops, hello. If you're having side tone issues, side tone's gone out and you've determined that it's not that tube and it's not something else in the circuit, it might be this thing. They do go out and uh, you can build your own. It'll look very much like that. It may look like that. Hopefully it'll look better than that, but hey, it works. So uh, have fun, 73.